Melanie Anderson. She's showing us mind-blowingly delicious recipes. Just two ingredients. Two. We're halfway through ten of them, so we got five down and five to go. What's yes. next? Well, we're going to start with something that incorporates dates. And you know when you're cooking with dates, you should only have two ingredients because three's a crowd. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> Three, bars. three could be an interesting date. Well, yeah, it could Memorable be very date. interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> Look at your crowd. All right, so these are energy bars that are made with two ingredients. We've got some pitted dates. Pitted dates. Yes, I add a little bit of water to them, heated them up so they could kind of like moisten a we bit. Reconstitute a bit. Yes, yes. And then into here in my food processor, adding oats. You know, straight from the canister. Very These simple. are like the cookies, the banana cookies. Exactly. They're like little energy bars. But you're making yourself energy bars cost a fortune. They're so expensive. So expensive. And then seriously, you're trying to be healthy. Just look at the list of ingredients. Ain't nothing healthy in there That's but the right. oats. You know That's what I mean? right. And so, they add in so much extra sugar. Yes. So then you get so it So then up. this is brilliant, son. Then you packed it into a loaf pan. Mm -hmm. But she lined it with plastic, guys. Yes. So they come right out. Right in See? the fridge. Comes right out. Mm -hmm. So you chill this. Chill it. Pull it out with the plastic. And then you just cut them into bars. Look at that. Phenomenal. Really good. Healthy bars. So great. OK. So this is ice cream made with two ingredients. I said ice cream made with two ingredients. Bananas. Tell yes. me what it is. So it's banana speculoos ice cream. And if you haven't heard of speculoos, it's like cookie spread, if you will. It tastes like gingerbread cookies, yes. but you can spread it. It's like nutmeg, cinnamon, gingerbread, a little bit of white pepper. You get yummy. it right in the grocery store near the... Um, peanut butter. Near the peanut butter and the hazelnut spread. Yes. It's awesome. So this is going to be really simple. You take three bananas, you slice them down, you freeze them, all right? Then you get them into your food processor. How much speculous? Oh, just like a nice dollop. Is that good? I'll take another dollop. You want another dollop, baby? Sure. And then all you do is close it up. Now, I've got a little bit of water here because every once in a while, if your <clears throat> uh, bananas are a little bit too frozen, you might have to loosen it up. But water's not an ingredient, right? Water's not an ingredient. No, water's not an ingredient. It's already out. coming together beautifully. It is. And that's it. Then you just pop it back in the freezer, right? Pop it back into the freezer, or if you're really hungry, just scoop it right away. I'll, I'll tell you, seriously. scoop it out. It's amazing. Okay. Amazing. Get on my spoon. That's crazy. Something. Look how beautiful and smooth that is already. Mm -hmm. It tastes, I, I can't even tell you, it tastes like banana bread made out with molasses. Yeah. And then they had a love baby, and mm -hmm. they made it a la mode. They put ice cream on it. So good. One point. This right. is awesome. OK. This is awesome. You're going to freak over this one. You better hold on to your seats, people. Hold on for this two-ingredient meal right here. Are you ready for this? That's not a meal, honey. Oh, a cake is a meal. <laughs> <laughs> cake is a meal. It's a two-ingredient dessert. Tell them. I just want to know, what does the cow say? Moo. That's right. This is a black cow cake. Have you ever heard of a black cow cake? This will change your life. It will change your life. Change your life, OK? This is why I actually sometimes hate being able to cook, because you could just say, I'd like to make something, and it only takes two ingredients. The two ingredients here are a box of chocolate cake mix. Dark okay. chocolate. I would dark use cho Hello. dark chocolate. Oh, you like the dark chocolate? Okay, I do. Cool. I That's do. what I'm talking about. Sweet and bitter. <laughs> and then a bottle of root beer. That's it. That's it. I know. Pour the root beer Can I in. Pour it in. Yes. Pour it in. Now, here's where oh, you start to think. Oh, yes. Yes. Here's where my mind goes wild. Ooh, I can make a white cow cake. I can get the Vanilla. white cake mix and then use and lemon lime soda. Mm. You know what I mean? Or root beer and vanilla. Just like a yes. root beer float. Exactly. And that's it. You just throw it into the pint. Yes. Butter it up. Throw and it there in. There you go. Bake it until it's nice and springy in the center. Delicious. Yes. Then log on. Yes. Exactly. I'm going to tell everyone, then you have to log on and find the two ingredient frosting that we did last time. Very simple, OK? Yeah, but you don't even need frosting yeah. on that. It is delicious. I told you it's a meal, girl. You it's good. <laughs>